Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Gaming with Blockchain. I'm your host, Abe Mainu, and we're doing a, a, another episode on Upland. And just really highlighting some updates that they had on their um, NFT portal and more AMA uh, about two days ago. So what does it all mean? They did almost like what I would call like a progress report outlining what they what has currently in place and what they foresee in the next uh, future uh, going down the pipeline. And it's quite innovative um, in some ways, a, a bold moves. But hey, this is what we're expecting. This is what we, we, we're hoping to, to foresee um, in the coming days. They're trying to integrate uh, utility and, and bring that utility into the function. But again, being cautious, and I've said it before, because they're they're dealing with the economics of things and and located in the U.S., um, they have to tread uh, carefully. So right now we're in Upland, and so I'm just gonna highlight some things before we get into the key crusp of what is going on um, in that a AMA primarily. So they had their landmark la uh, auction um, two days ago as well. Uh, or starting today, which is our Saturday, August 28th. Um, so if, uh, hopefully if you had a chance to participate in that, you did. And if not, you know, always check the Discord channels. And that was going on um, today. And hopefully it was something that was was a great launch and a, a good turnout. The next thing they'll be bringing up is that they're going to be asking feedback from the community regarding the next step for the Hyperloop. And if you remember, the Hyperloop was a very successful um, alternative for transportation between Cleveland and Chicago. They're now looking to expand it. Where where does it go? That's, that's something we'll find out come Monday, uh, August 30th. They're going to request some feedback from from the community which is I think is pretty cool and and get a sense of of some ideas um, on you know what else can we do with the Hyperloop what what should we do with the Hyperloop um, one of the first landmarks I'm uh, contributed in for the construction build which is remember the landmarks right now will be mark uh, constructions that are that reflect real world uh, design and this build right now I think has about two days left if I'm not mistaken um, it will be something that it will be very very interesting to see what it looks like once it's all finished so two days and 11 hours so maybe by early next week this will be done uh, the, the landmarks complete and it mirrors the real life structure so what is now the the, the biggest uh, take back or you know from the MAA and I mean there's a lot there's there's if if you haven't uh, listened to it I suggest you do even probably listen to it again there's little hints of indicators of 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 thought processes that are in place but they're talking about now the NFT portal and NFT portals bringing in NFTs into the game um, to utilize utility usage. I, in Upland. Now, some will say, okay, well, why would you want to do that? Um, so I'll bring two analogies here. One being, let's first think about, um, again, if you're old enough, the era when we had um, inconsistent file structures. If you were on a Mac or if you're on a PC or if you're on Linux, the simplest file structure that we take for granted, like JPEGs, were incompatible between systems. So at some point someone had decided, okay, we have to create some standards. We have to be able to at least, no matter what system someone's on, they can they can utilize these files. And they had, and that was created. So now JPEGs, uh, PNGs, or even PDFs, you know, if we, if we don't even think twice about it. Send me a PDF, send me a JPEG. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. They're taking this bold uh, challenge to do the same thing with the NFTs. Now, you said, well, why is that case? Why would it be the case? Well, think of it. If I if I wanted to travel somewhere, and if we were talking since we're talking about currencies, imagine I needed a wallet for every currency that existed in fiat terms. You know, I needed a wallet for U.S. currency. I needed a wallet for you know the British pound. I needed a wallet for the uh, the Chinese yen. I needed a wallet for Mexican peso. Imagine I had to have all these wallets for every single currency one the traveling won't be all that much fun and two if i really want to showcase some of the, some of this maybe the artwork or whatever the case is i got pull out 
every single wallet it, it's it's just cumbersome so the space of nfts as we know has ballooned uh to such growth that it's really 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 uh hard to navigate and 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 share like you know oh i want to show you this this really great art um okay hold on let me log into this wallet okay well do you have this wallet i want to send you this and maybe you like this it's this not there yet to make it as intuitive as possible so upland's taking a challenge to bring in to remove all that clutter and say okay here's one little central space that you can amongst the players go around and say okay this is this is kind of nfts i'm holding um of course they're starting off with a collection of their own on the wax chain so the uplands on eos and and the their upland cards are on the wax blockchain so now they're going to bridge these two almost like they did with crypto kitties if you remember the crypto kitties and so okay this this collection right now we can import and so they're going to be i'm sure quite selective on which in collections they're going to bring in from which chain because again you don't want to open up the floodgates so you bring in anything and everything uh the whole point is trying to maintain a little bit of um security but also a usability you don't want to have a point where you have to troubleshoot every single nft so you, likely they're going to look at nfts that have a very good structure in place maybe it's something that's already consistent um and definitely uh, quite secure so what does it mean and now of course if there's throughout all the gameplay from everything i've, I've been saying and i'm sure sure you'll be hearing it from other uh users as well is the onboarding being the easiest easiest factor you know we it we want to remove all the obstacles so the non techno geek individual can come on board and say okay i'm signing up with my email account great how now however we're kind of this going well, hold on a second that's good until this point it, we're now saying we we have to get, dig down the rabbit hole just a little bit and in fact that's not a bad thing because blockchain and cryptocurrency is about self-management it's the best you the better you know at least what's going on it's about having your control and being self-responsible to what's what's happening in this space and i'm not saying you'll have every answer but being aware of what's going on what it, what it all means um so this is then just a, just a little step into that you're dipping you're walking into the waters a little bit more rather than just dipping your toes but thankfully you know all's not it's not as complicated or, or or cumbersome as other chains can be US and wax have made it as intuitive as possible using s- basic simple language um and and trying to bring everything in to 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 integrate as as um again as seamlessly as possible right so what we will you have to do to do this what where what are you going to be looking at here you have the three little dots here you have your assets and you have your portal the portal is, is uplands the depository of all the nfts that come in from the different chains once that's set up you'll have access to bring your your nfts from a chain that, let's say we're taking an example of wax and import it into your upland game account what the, the portal does is it basically ties and tethers your upland uh name to the nft but also also the nft to your original account or the origin account in the wax uh blockchain database so if i look at my assets right now i had done two previously i got my structure i got my block explorer and what i've uploaded i uploaded these two uh elements already and you can see that you know i still have some of the data i can still view it on wax cuz it's it's still on wax even though it's out of Oh no you'll see it's out of the wallet aspect of wax but it's in still remains in the wax blockchain is this is not shown in my wax wallet because it's now temporarily out of stasis if you want to see it that way so we're going to go through the motions and I'm I'm going to I'm going to attempt to um put in some of the steps that I think will help facilitate the process. I can't show every single step only simply because I've done it already. Um and it does involve private keys and everything else. But 
at the same time, I'm hoping that once you have at least some of the, these benchmarks, um, you, it's, because it's so intuitive, you kind of can you take the next step uh, almost automatically. And then if there's anything, you know, the community is there. There's other, there's other in-depth uh, videos or, or tutorials on how to uh, establish a, an Anchor account. So first things first, you have to go to the Gray Mass website and download the application. We're going to be starting with the desktop version. The desktop version is available for um, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Then we'll kind of tweak into the mobile version, which is currently only available for the iOS. The Android one is coming uh, sometime later. Once you've downloaded this application, you can set your password. And then your, your, the password set, that's the first, first initial step. You want to keep this password safe as usual and then we'll be able to move uh, then we'll continue on from there once you have that you're going to now see an, a page that looks similar to this you will not have an account up here because that's what you're doing we're creating a new account but you want to assure that you're in the wax blockchain you'll have options here like the EOS but we're we're looking to uh, establish the wax account you'll click on tools then you'll click on manage keys from there, you're going to generate a key pair. So it's, it's going to be two key pairs. As you see here, it will tell you it's two key pairs. And once you've done that, you're going to uh, copy it to your clipboard, copy it to text, a notepad, anything else you want. You want to copy that because you need to refer back to it in a moment. Now, I, of course, I've blocked out everything here. Not that these will be used. These are just dummies. But the whole point is that it, these keys and what's hidden here is meant to be hidden. These are private keys. These belong to you. They're not to ever to be shared to, by or to anybody. Anyone who requests your private keys is a scammer. Private keys are like a master key. They're meant only for the person holding it that belongs to them. Any admin that claims they need your mass, your your private key is a fraud. Most admins who are worth their grain of salt will not be requesting your private key. So this is not something to give away. But you will be able to reveal them because you'll need to do so uh, later on. Okay, I don't know why that did that. All right. And this is what we kind of referenced. So you saw it earlier. It was um, a pair and two pairs at the top, um, one pair at the top and one pair at the bottom. They kind of refer represent an owner and an active. That's the kind of layout you want to kind of remember. This is just an example type of thing set once at two because, again, it's two pairs. And that's what you'll need. Once you have that, you're now going to go into your wax cloud. If you haven't signed up for your Wax Cloud, this is where you want to sign up for a Wax Cloud wallet. And you want to go to the, the gears and you're going to create a new account. You're going to copy and paste the public keys of each of those pairs. So back in where we were in the section here, the public keys that are at the top, you're going to copy correspondingly to one for the owner and one for active and then you're going to create um, one owner one active then you're going to create a 12 character name for yourself again like you use create a user account same thing but it's only restricted to 12 characters you can pay the slight fee that's here and click that you agree because it's a contract like and you're going to create create the wax account and then you can confirm it like, like I said, I already, I already created, so I'm not going to go through the process. Once that's established, you can come back to your Anchor Wallet. And you're going to now go back to home. If it's not at home, go to your Manage Keys. Existing account, because now the account has been made. Even though you don't see it, it has been generated. You're going to Import Keys. Because as it says, you want to set up a wallet to use with the Wax blockchain. So we're creating that wallet. And then you're going to import the keys for this account. Now, it, didn't, it doesn't say specifically the active or owner. I would suggest 
putting in the private uh, keys of the actor account. So you go to your pair, look at the active pair, and take the private keys from there. So you click that reveal button, that little eye, and copy and paste those in place, import, and you're ready to go. After that's all said and done, the, key, the account will generate and you'll have the username that you set up in Wax imported to the Anchor wallet. Now, what will that mean moving forward? If you have a mobile device, you may want, and sometimes you play on your mobile device as well, you would want to set up the mobile uh, account too. So you want to download the uh, mobile application and then go through the steps as as such, which would be you're back at the um, what's it called the home and managed wallet of the Anchor desktop, and then from there you're going to click on your new wallet address that's in your Anchor um, account and click on those three dots at the corner here. Once those three dots are selected, you're going to cl click on View Wallet. You click the View Wallet, and then you're going to have you're going to see the private public key and private keys that are hidden. With your phone, you're going to in the phone itself is going to ask you if you want to import your keys, and you you want you, of course this is what you want to do. You want to import that wallet so you have it on your mobile mobile device. So you can import. It's going to have the option where you can do a QR code image and that's what you can do. You can click this icon here and it'll display the QR code image and once it does that you put your camera to it and it imports the wallet um, on your phone and then voila it's done. You are now ready to integrate with the Upland interface of their portal uh, section. Now, what does that mean from here? The thing that you would have to do at this point now is assure that you are logged in on Wax Blocks IO. So you want to assure that the Anchor account can see and is active on the Wax Block IO. And I'll put this in the show notes. And the best thing to do that when you're going through the process in the portal on Upland, it's always ideal to do it from in the game uh, versus through the Medium article. Uh, why? Because the the links that are in the game or live and they will bring you directly to the spot you need to be versus the medium art article you kind of have to kind of navigate where it is and it's kind of if you're not familiar with it it could be very daunting in that way so I'm gonna la log in and I'm already logged in so you can see I have my two accounts I have my wax account and I also have my upland um, anchor account so you can see the icons that are there so I'm active where that's concerned now I'm in my, uh, right now I'm in the inventory of the Wax account and I'm going to find a simple asset. Uh, I don't want to do another one of those because I want to be able to distinguish uh, what it is. Okay, so I'll just, this gold unicorn pinata, I'll send that over because in my Upland inventory I have nothing. So my upline inventory right now is empty. This is the account that right now is currently linked as you can see here to my upland game. It's not my wax cloud, it's my upland account, upland lounge account. So what I have to do when you go through the process, you're going to add this address. It's going to ask you to import your Wax address. You're going to import the Wax address that is anchor that is the anchor address, not the Wax cloud. And then from there, you, it's going to ask you to verify that you're linked to the Wax block um, I/O, which we we verify here. You, you're just going to double check that, and then from that, you're going to get to another process, which again I can't show you here, where it's going to ask you to tie that account to the Upland portal w through a uh, five digit, if I recall, five digit uh, number. And that link is going to bring you in back into the Wax Cloud uh, block and you're going to import that number in the field as uh, described. So once it's all done, you can wait for it to then populate through the uh, blockchain and then you'll see, as I, I, I have here, you'll see your, your account address pop up.
So again, to repeat, you add your account, you add your, your wax anchor address uh, to the field here. Then once that's been added, you're going to verify the information in the Blocks Explorer. From that Block Explorer, it's going to then say, okay, now add, tie your account to the block to the upland portal through this sequence of numbers and it'll provide the link and you, and you put in those numbers and then your account will be now activated give it a bit of time and it'll, uh, it'll be ready to go so now how does this all work so I'm going to now send this icon to uh, an icon NFT to my upland lounge first because I don't have any assets there So that's my first thing I have to do because I have to, I can't I'm not tied to the portal with my wax cloud. So I'll wait for the confirmation to finalize. Approve. I can close this. I'm now gonna go back here. Update. Log out because it's gonna log in. Go back to my anchor because I I was it only saw that it was part of the wax cloud allow it to update and now you can see the upland lounge and it has received the nft from here and go back to my wallet in the portal of upland i'm going to select this particular address and i'm going to copy paste this this is where i want to now bring in the nft from my anchor address so i'm going to transfer this I'm going to paste and I'm going to send over. It's going to load the transaction. It's going to ask me to confirm it. It's going to go through the process. The transformation has been successful or transfer has been successful. I close and now I wait. Because now it's going through two different blockchains, it's not as instant. So it takes a bit of time and that's what you can you can expect at least in an initial phase moving forward i'm sure the process will be a little faster as i go through the kinks um and and kind of narrow down maybe what chain what uh nft collections that are going to bring on board and that will be the question how many nfts can i store in in this portal which ones are they going to be choosing to allow to bring into the portal? Um, how well would the transfer between players of, of NFT holders really work? These are all now beginning stages of the, of this new experience uh, moving forward. But you, you, you now can see that if I have now a whole collection of NFTs here in the game, and as they, they admitted that they have to improve on the in-game communication elements, I may be able to trade directly within the game. The NFT still lies in the WAX cloud. And when it gets redeemed, as long as a person has the same wallet within the WAX cloud area, or even an anchor, um, I should say primarily not WAX cloud, but in anchor itself, on the, blockchain, on the WAX blockchain, I could, you know, we could do transfers between players in the game itself there will be no need to constantly go back to the wallet and and do that transaction in the wallet and then to come back into the game everything will be played in the game which is always the most important thing that you want to have players engage and remain in the game <laughs> as, as long as possible and at the same time i let i lo kind of log out of the game my block explorer is still floating around so someone at any point in time if they log in and they're curious and saying, okay, well, what do I see here? What's going on? What does this player have? Oh, this this looks cool, kind of cool. And, uh, you know, we always go through the assets and you go, okay, what's, what's, what's happening in their space? And you look through everything and you wonder what they what they got. You know, this person has these t t types of uh, block explorers. Did they bring anything in their inventory yet? You may, they may have something cool that you want. These are the kind of inquiries you now you can kind of peek into and, and look through, even 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 when I'm offline. 
So those are the kind of marketplaces that will bring the potential to bring more utility for the NFT uh, marketplaces, especially the ones that have a stronger um, stability in their structure and, and design of, of, of their NFT uh, markets. And and at any time there's any questions, like I said, you can always look into the updates in 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 the game itself, right? So I'm sure at some point they'll probably add another feature here, which may link it directly to support, um, and and or I I know the supports right here, but there'll be probably other modalities of communication in the game uh, for the players to to uh, showcase all kinds of things. I mean, the NFT to be integrated into your property at some point as well. Uh, you, you have the galleries. Who knows if the NFTs will be allowed to be shown externally, right? Maybe maybe it could be on signage. Who knows what, what will be possible now that they can import and if they can import comfortably without uh, much strain on the network and much strain on uh, the play player's experience. So we're just waiting the, the, the transaction to come through because um, as we said we know it's out of my inventory right now I don't have anything in place it, it's temporarily now put into another custodial um, wallet until at one point I decide okay well no I, I want it back or you know, it's part of something else that I need. So we'll just kind of see what's going on in the builds here, and so until you can see it pop up, and then you'll you will know it's been confirmed. Yeah, so I had a nice color scheme. One of the same users, Erica. Same owner. Yeah, there you go. A triple set. And so definitely too, I want to give a nice shout out for Puerto Rico builders. Um, definitely been nice to see uh, the builds, regardless of what reasons you're doing it. Um, it was a really nice uh, display because I had some meetings today uh, with other uh, potential interested parties, and they're like, "Okay, well, what's going on?" It's like I can show you different different areas. I can show you areas that I I favor. Um, other communities that I'm, I'm 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 part of, and they're like, "Okay, this this is building." I'm like, "Yes, it is. This is this is these are more builds than um, for what I saw before." So it's definitely happening, and I think it's 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 going to be an interesting land land uh, landscape in a few. So here we go. It must be a delay in display, but it shows that the. NFT has been successfully converted and imported into Upland. The display is gone, but what we can do, so we can always go back to the assets and see that the unicorn's right there. So now I have three assets in place. You can see it in, in the WAX uh, system. As I said, it's not in my inventory, but what it retains is the information on WAX. So you can get the kind of um, data that you may want to find out, okay, what the mint number is, and, and, and the template ID, if these are things that are important, and so forth. So there you have it. These are the these are type of things that Upland is now really progressively uh, adding to its features and to its uh, attributes and it's, it's something to to really be proud of along with again getting engaged with the communities get on the discord channels find a niche that's that's working with you if you can like I said I'm part of Puerto Rio uh, Hill I you know that that's one of my favorites and I will always explain why at some point but I have I have uh, pockets in other places as well and if you have any issues and you have any challenges, you know, hit me up. Thanks for those questions. Everyone's asking some questions, and I try to answer as best as I can um, with whatever information I do have. Definitely, as I said, though, this is definitely not uh, anything for financial advice. This is just an idea. 
you, you're playing this at your own risk. Don't don't risk what you're not willing to lose. Um, continue to follow and share. I appreciate all the feedback that you guys are doing, uh, and and you know we're we're moving forward with with all the plans that are here. And if you have any questions, again, let me know. So until next time, everybody stay safe. Um, that's not what we're supposed to do. And, you know, we'll see you on the other side. Um, enjoy your days. And uh, we'll touch base again. Take care.